Um, like I said, there's a story about Tom Cruise and his baby being disfigured, but I'm just, I have nothing against Tom Cruise, but uh, I'm just not a big fan of his. And then last, because we can't make this show too long, no, two more things I'll talk about. Suzanne Plachette, there she is. Uh, do you guys remember her from the Bob Newhart show? I remember her as a kid from one of my favorite Disney movies called uh, The Ugly Dash Hound, if you remember it. It was about a Great Dane, but um, it was called The Ugly Dash Hound, and uh, she played the wife in it. It was a good movie. I, I still own it today. Well, Suzanne Plachette says is battling lung cancer, so we wish her well. She lives not too far from me um, in a condo. In a, I guess about a year ago, there was a, a fire, an early morning fire at her condo, and um, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning, and all the press are there, and photographers, and news cameras. And here's all these uh, so virtual who's who of celebrities out on the sidewalk in the morning in their bathrobes and pajamas waiting for the firefighters to give them the okay to go back into their um, condos. Um, and it turned out the person that started the fire was um, Diane Cannon, as I recall. Diane Cannon, she goes to all the Laker games. She's, uh, she's still a blonde bombshell, but she's like 71 years old now. She apparently, I think the fire started in her kitchen, allegedly, I, I don't recall completely. Um, but uh, it, it was just interesting seeing, seeing all these uh, celebrities out in front of her building. And Suzanne Plachette is the uh, president of her condos association. So again, Suzanne Plachette, we wish you well. And the last story we'll get to today, because I know I can go on and on, <laughs> is uh, Cher. Cher is auctioning off her treasures. Now Cher I've never met, so um, hey, you want me to interview her, somebody uh, do me a hookup with Cher. Uh, she's auctioning off a lot of her stuff to go to charity. Um, a lot of this stuff is real gothic stuff and, and very gaudy stuff, but I'm sure it'll, it'll appeal to some people and it'll make money. It's just that, ugh, I, I wouldn't want any of this stuff in my home. Can, can you see some of this stuff there? I'll try to go closer. A chair, the bed, it's all metal. Um, just, you know gaudy stuff in my opinion not necessarily gaudy to uh, everybody and um, oh I, I wanted to just mention I'm not going to talk anymore about the National Enquirer today okay one more thing Jack Nicholson is tearing down Marlon Brando's house can you see that that's Marlon Brando's old house and the house is part of a compound of like three or four houses up on um, up above Mulholland Drive and um, uh, Jack Nicholson and Marlon Brando shared the same compound. I was fortunate enough to be up at that compound when I first moved to Hollywood a long time ago. I was a chauffeur and I had to pick up an actress and take her to Jack Nicholson's house for a personal interview uh, with Jack Nicholson. And um, I just, you know, leaned on the limousine like this while they're all inside um, auditioning. And, uh, and then when they were finished the audition, Jack Nicholson came out and introduced himself and said hi and he was really cool but it was an awesome compound and um, he's just tearing that he bought the house after Marlon died and he's just tearing it down because there's a lot of mold in the house apparently it's an older older home and rather than eradicate the mold and spend all that money he's just gonna tear down the house and build a garden there in in its place it's nice to have that much money that you can just tear down a million dollar home and, and you know put in a garden but that's what he's doing okay now enough on that I want to get to the comments and emails that I received. I received a lot from you guys, and I thank you all. Um, they were all nice. You guys are, are super out there. Uh, Carol wants me to interview um, James Spader, and I would love to interview him. We all have eight degrees of separation. Who knows him? How can we do a hookup? How can we get to James Spader? Let's, uh, someone out there who knows somebody who knows somebody, hey, I'll interview him, I'll go to his house, I'll set up the camera, we'll, we'll do the whole thing, and, um, and we'll get a nice interview with him. Or anybody else that you know um, that you think I can interview and you happen to have a connection to them, get in touch with me and I'll uh, get out there and do the interview. So, I uh, think that's all we have to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed this show. As I said uh, in the last show, I appreciate the comments. And I appreciate your support, and I appreciate you sub, um, subscribing to my videos. So um, I'll keep them coming. You guys keep subscribing. Um, tell a friend about my show, and I'll have another show real soon. Hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. 
I'll see you again real soon.